willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 4. Wir sind hier in Crawford und gucken jetzt hier gleich das dritte Video, was Lee gefunden hat. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Hm. Also ja, sie kannte den Doktor, den sie in einem anderen Video so brutal erledigt hat. Und das war wohl ein sexuelles Arrangement, was die beiden getroffen hatten. Und es betraf ihre Schwester, von der sie übrigens noch nichts erwähnt hatte. Gut, also ist jetzt wohl ein klärendes Gespräch mit Molly fällig. Wenn wir nur wissen, wo sie ist. Ansonsten, wir haben alle Sachen, die wir brauchen. Wir haben Benzin, wir haben die Batterie. Also da kommt die Batterie. Und die Medikamente haben wir auch. Ja. I'm just kidding. Hm, besser ist. Na los, frag sie. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Mother. I understand. Pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Okay, also irgendjemand läutet die Glocken und es ist diesmal nicht Molly, weil Molly steht direkt neben Lee. Also macht das irgendjemand anderes. Oh, Jesus! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Vin? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway. Ah, der ist schon ein bisschen blöd, echt. Die haben wir nämlich extra dahin gesteckt, damit die Tür zu bleibt, wegen genau dem, was jetzt passiert. Aber Molly hat das ja alles ganz gut im Griff im Moment. Hat doch gar nicht geschossen, oder? Ah, sie wird immer besser. 
So, jetzt müssen wir aber jetzt zwangsweise abhauen. This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did. Ey, der Typ ist so doof. Der will doch jetzt nicht sagen, dass er damals schuld war am Tod von Kalai und dass er die Banditen gerufen hat. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... This is so a dip. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can warm a skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omin. And you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Müssen wir das alles jetzt machen, Mann? Da draußen stehen Zombies. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Tja, ich würde mich jetzt auch enthalten. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <lacht> Sie sagt jetzt wohl nichts mehr. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Krasser Abgang. So, die Tür wird wohl nicht halten, so wie das hier aussieht. So much for the armory. What's left of it? So, ja, und viele Waffen gibt's ja auch nicht mehr. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. So, unten. Sackgasse. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Na, wenigstens eine Waffe. Und das ist nicht mal eine schlechte Waffe. So eine Waffe treff selbst ich ziemlich gut. Nur das Nachladen ist halt immer ein bisschen kacke. Ja. Gut. Sage ich doch, das Nachladen ist halt ein bisschen kacke. Gut. Aber jetzt. So. Hab nicht vergessen, mich wegzubewegen. Und dann funktioniert das natürlich nicht. So. Schön, dass es hier scheinbar unbegrenzt... Ach Mist. Unbegrenzt Munition gibt. So, jetzt muss ich hier mein Bein rausholen und Zombies schießen. Mann. Na los, los, komm, mach hin. Kümmere dich um dabei, Mann. Nochmal. 
Gut. Raus, hoch. Von oben kommen sie jetzt auch schon. Oh. Ah, Mali. Gut, ein bisschen Unterstützung von Christa ist ganz gut. Ja, so geht's auch. Munition sparen. Und du noch? Jetzt hast du keine Axt mehr. Ich glaube, das Schrotgewehr ist gerade auch weg, oder? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Was war das jetzt mit der Eisenbahn? Wieso hat er danach gefragt? Come on, let's go! Ach. Oh Mann. Eigentlich, wenn der ihm eben den Kopf abgeschossen hat, frage ich mich, warum der da überhaupt noch hängt. Oder ist das... Ah ne, das ist Ben, den wir eben im, gesehen haben. So, müssen wir jetzt wieder eine Entscheidung treffen bezüglich Ben oder wie ihn oder sterben oder... Kann ich ihn ziehen? Ich lasse ihn gehen, glaube ich. Ja. So, ja, schade, Ben. Ach, der lebt noch. Also, eigentlich wäre er bei dem Fall doch schon gestorben. Ja, gut. Ben hat die Gruppe offiziell verlassen. Christa? Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh. Hey. Back already? <lacht> Gut, also er lebt noch. Super. Bin jetzt mal eine gute Nachricht. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Fettnäpfchen. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Hmm. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. 
Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Be safe? I think that's an option that Philly überhaupt nicht in Frage kommt. This will give you a chance to walk away, which you want to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off. Wäre es denn gut für sie gewesen, wenn sie mitgegangen wäre? Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Ja, schade. Sie war aber, sie war zwar ein bisschen eigen, aber irgendwie ziemlich cool. Be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Yeah, then it's Molly. It's all fake. Working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Some place else. Some place better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? Ah, 
Ach, die kleine Mann. So, ist auch wohl eingeschlafen. Clementine ist weg. Mal wieder. Clementine? Das Walkie Talkie allerdings scheinbar auch. Und wo sind die anderen? Moin Moin. Es geht weiter mit The uh, Walking Dead Season 1. Clementine! Clementine! Ach ja, Clementine ist verschwunden. Oh Gott. Das war so mit das letzte, was es wohl so gab. Ich muss es auch zugeben, zwischen dem letzten Video und diesem Video ist für mich im realen Leben einige Zeit vergangen, weil ein anderes Spiel dazwischen kam und ich muss jetzt gerade selber ein bisschen überlegen, was passiert ist. Ähm, das andere Spiel ist übrigens The Division. So, auf jeden Fall ist Clementine davon und sucht jetzt wahrscheinlich ihre Eltern. So. Nochmal? Ne, bloß einmal? Gut, alles klar. Treten mir bloß einmal zu. Ja, wir hoffen einfach mal, dass dir nichts passiert ist, aber wir wissen eigentlich schon, dass dir nichts passiert ist. Es ist ja schließlich Season 1 und ich spiele ja mindestens in Season 2 schon mit. Das weiß ich schon, oder nicht? Oh nein! Aber, aber... Wie wurde er denn eben gebissen? Was ist das hier? Lee? Wo ist Clementine? Sie ist nicht in der Raum. Vernon ist nicht in der Haus. Was ist das für ein Blut? Welches Blut ist das? Es ist ein Walker. Die Fucker jumpen mich von hinten. Also, wo ist Clementine? Clementine ist weg. Ich fand ihr Hat und ihr Radio auf dem Grund hier. Das ist alles, was ich fand. Es gibt keine Chance, dass sie einfach auf ihrer eigenen Weg wandert? Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Von dem Biss werden wir mal gar nichts sagen. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with her? I'm sorry, we can't. It's too risky for us, and I have to put him first. He's not well enough to go off on some rescue mission. Krista, I'm fine. I can... Ah. He's just not up to it, Lee. And I'm not leaving him again. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it without us. It's okay. I understand. This wasn't an easy decision, Lee. I want you to know that. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, could you be there for me? Because there been plenty of times when you ain't been. In the end, 
and family's all that matters. And you were there for Katya and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. Alright, I'm in. Ja, es hätte mich jetzt auch schwer enttäuscht, wenn er nicht dabei gewesen wäre, wo es ihm gepasst hätte. So, bei Gelegenheit, wenn es sich nochmal gibt, dann kann ich zumindest aber Kenny sagen, dass ich gebissen wurde. Ich glaube, er ähm, sollte es wissen. Er muss sich ja schließlich um Clementine kümmern. Wir sind in einer Leichenhalle, wie passend. Wo zum Hell sind sie? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Ja, scheinbar ist wohl keiner mehr da. <lacht> Was jetzt? Kommen Sie rein? Clementine, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy motherfucker! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you. Episode 5, gut. Dann starten wir mit Ep Episode 5 halt jetzt direkt. Warte mal, warte mal, warte mal. Der Junge auf dem Dachboden. Hast du den Jungen auf dem Dachboden umgebracht? Du und der Sie und 37 Spieler haben ihn umgebracht. Äh, hast du Wörnen belogen oder bedroht? Wir waren rational und aufrichtig. Hast du Clementine mitgenommen? Ja, wobei die Minderheit hat sie mitgenommen. Hast du Ben in den Tod stürzen lassen? Du, ja, haben ihn gehen lassen. Hast du der Gruppe gezeigt? Du, 19%. Die wenigsten haben es gemacht, okay. Die meisten waren ehrlich. Hm, hätte ich dich jetzt so nicht erwartet. Wer begleitet Lee? Aha, okay. Aha, aha, aha. Nette Konstellation. Aber die meisten haben es wohl mit, mit Kenny gemacht. Also es ist so gespielt, dass es Kenny ist. Gut. Gut. 